Welcome back. This is part three of the river pump build. I had some excellent ideas on what to fill this with to make it float better. Uh, from packing peanuts to spray foam, uh, even putting hardware mesh on the back to keep things in. And those are all very valid ideas. And uh, I think first I'm going to try the bottles because I've got some. Uh, I think they'll fit in the three inch and six inch pretty good. Maybe the four, I don't know. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So if it needs uh, spray foam or packing peanuts, I kind of like that idea of putting a screen or hardware cloth on the backside um, to keep debris out, uh, but still allow water to access the tubing. So uh, I'm also gonna be uh, putting PVC cement on here to keep it from falling apart. So uh, it's 32 degrees outside right now. So we're gonna do this inside. Let's get started. So a friend of mine donated some bottles. Uh, I'm also doing another project, which you'll see uh, very shortly, that has to do with bottles and putting holes in them. So let's see what size we need here to get. Here's a bigger bottle. See how far this reaches up in here. Not quite into the three. Let's see what happens if I let a little of this air out. If it has any kind of compression. Nah. All right, that one's a little big. Let's try maybe, yeah, the smaller one. Oh yeah. So that reaches all the way up to here, uh, but doesn't, hold very well, so I wonder, I'm going to try letting a little more of this out. That's still going to be way better than that foam that I was trying. Nah, it's just not going to stay. So we got one in there. Now I'm wondering about this thing. If I may be able to uh, See, it fits in here, but the pipe gets in the way. <laughs> Spray foam might be the best bet. Let's see here. Pop this out. Interesting. You know, I bet if I moved this hole over about, well, here to the end, um, that would work. So this pipe would actually hold that bottle in there. I don't know. Yeah, I may do that and then put some of that uh, screen over the end there to keep debris from getting in. Because that would make a huge difference uh, if we had, and maybe even put one of these smaller bottles in here between uh, that pipe and this one and it'll really hold up well. Let's see how it does. Okay. Then. Oops. <laughs> now I'll never get that out of there. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. So before we go back out to the cold, let's just go ahead and get these components put back together here. I'm just going to do a simple bit here, because they definitely fell apart. They won't after this though. Or at least they better not. Okay. So I found that it was really hard to even budge any of this stuff. So I just pushed it really hard and I think it's gonna stay in. So if it does come out, we'll just come back later and fix it up. But. Sorry about 
that. So now I'll do the last piece here. And hopefully we'll be set for all this. So far I've been really impressed with this project. It actually has beat my expectations, so it's always a good thing. Yeah, that one definitely needed something to keep it in there because that piece is real shallow. I'm going to try and leave this top one without gluing it so we can access the tubing, but I may eventually have to put that one in there too. We'll just see. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for about two or three minutes and then let's go out to the garage and put a hole back here in the back to allow um, the hose to be moved down some and for this big bottle to go in there. If that thing sinks, we're in trouble. Check this out. I found some window screen. It's pretty tough. I bet we could use this as a, um, uh, a shield on the back. So instead of uh, hardware cloth, which has got the bigger holes, we could just uh, cut a piece of this out here and maybe staple it onto the bottom. Let's give it a try and see what happens at least. So this design is supposed to be rather streamlined in order to keep uh, debris and stuff from getting caught as the pump works. And so that's why I was coping to keep anything that was going to be attached here um, streamlined as well. So I'm hoping that staples can be used uh, on the outside, I mean on the very end of this thing. So you've already seen this process once before, but hey, I'm going to do this again right here about one inch from the end. It does help being forward. Then turn it huh, See how that does here. Okay, I got the tube wrapped back around pretty tight here. And I think having this big jug here is going to be ideal. It's going to hold the tube in the uh, spot that it needs to be in. Now eventually, it was mentioned um, to increase the size of the end here. Uh, but just step it up some and I like that idea. So I think there's still room in there that I could do that later down the road if need be. So got this screen here. Let's see how well uh, PVC pipe staples. Can't say that I've ever done that before. So let's just get it started. there. Huh, not bad. Right. And there's the end piece. Still a little bit uh, that could actually get uh, debris caught there, but so the tube wraps around uh, from here to about here. And I think there's gonna be plenty of water passing through that to get to that tube. Um, I think I wrapped this a little better this time. Um, definitely has plenty of uh, pieces on each one of these sizes. Um, so the only one that has not been glued is right here. Well, these two. Um, but everything else has been glued down. Well, and then this one and this one have not. But, I mean, look at... That's a lot of uh, pipe in there. So... Looking good, and these blades definitely uh, worked well. So let's take this out to the water. Well, back out at the river. It's a balmy uh, 40 degrees in the sun, so this test will be kind of quick. 
I'm gonna plop this in here. Uh, it's anchored up to the same spot it was last time. And we'll just let it sit and run and uh, see how long it takes to pump water uphill here. And we'll see how well these bottles work. So let's get to it. So there's our anchor point. And we're just going to uh, plop this right down here in the same spot. It's not been snowing here yet, or at least any to really amount to anything, but uh, there's definitely been cold weather. Last night wasn't as bad as the night before. It was, I think, 20 degrees. <laughs> that might be an issue. <laughs> there's some ice in the uh, tubing here. <laughs> well, maybe it'll melt off. <laughs> Well, it sure is floating a lot better. Definitely a lot of inefficiencies in the blades there. Um, needs to have some shaping down to help that. We'll see if it starts to slow down some whenever that pipe gets really full. So you'll notice it has stopped. I pulled it out and uh, unhooked the coupling to see if there was gonna be uh, water in the pipe, in the hose, and just a little bit. And what I think's happening, that um, swivel coupling that I'm using is not designed for this. And so it had a bit of a leak. So I tightened it up, tossed it back into the water, and it's not doing too great as a swivel. Now it is. <laughs> I think my next step is going to purchase an actual swivel couple that will hopefully do a lot better at keeping a seal and allowing it to spin. Because uh, this, it may work, but not very well. So I think this design is quite plausible. If we can find a way to um, get a better swivel coupling. If you know of a place to buy these, I would appreciate it if you uh, shot me an email or just a comment below. Uh, I found a few of them on uh, like Google Shopping, but none of them really seem to be for this kind of purpose. But um, whenever I put this in the water, it definitely had an air leak at that point. And if you tighten it down enough so that it doesn't have that leak, it no longer swivels. So, and that's probably the key component to this whole thing. <laughs> we'll probably wants to get out of the car. So yeah, um, I like this design. I think it'll work. The bottles in here made a huge difference. We just gotta find this swivel coupling. And it may have another name, I'm not sure. But it's uh, too cold out here to continue. So uh, before there's a part four, we may have to wait until the, uh, the spring. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you next time. Bye.